Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about maintain acceptable transaction date. In SQL, we always emphasize we do not need to do year-end, but actually you can do so. Or let's say you do not do year-end and you have to a audit, finish an audit, and you do not want people or your staff to edit anything for the previous year or period, a previous period. So what you need to do or what you can do is, in SQL we have a very special function, it's called maintain acceptable transaction date is located at two maintain acceptable transaction date. Now, what it does is when you go in, you can actually set a date range for transaction that you want to accept. So for example, you click this button first, then you set the transaction. I only accept transaction from 1st of November 215 until 31st of 30th of November 215. Now let's see what will happen. So when we go to sales invoice, when we try to key in an invoice for a previous month, for example, Kitty, we have an invoice and the date we put October 215. Okay, October 215, put in the item and we try to save. This message will pop up. It will tell you that your transaction date is for outside the acceptable, acceptable transaction date. Do you want to save it? When you click yes, it will save. So it with this setting, the system will only prompt you. But you tell me, Brand, I do not allow my staff to uh, override this. So what you need to do, there is a second step. And many people do not know about this second step. It's actually you need to go to tools. You need to go to maintain user, go to more, access control. So you need to go to tools again and look for override acceptable transaction date. Let's say Lee, you do not allow her to change the override the date. So you untake, it become a none. Okay, you save it. So just in case we go to Lee, I confirm the password first. Okay, edit. So I change password for Lee is called Lee also. So let's see what will happen when Lee log in. So we log out. We log in as Lee. Okay. And we try to create an invoice again. Same, let's put like this. When you try to save, the system not only will tell her the date is out of range and she do not have the rights to override. So what you need to do is may click OK to cancel it or click override and request for a person or superior with the access right to override the acceptable transaction date so that she is able to save this particular transaction. So this is how the maintain accept acceptable transaction date work. So you can set by monthly, by weekly or even by daily. So it all depends on you. It's very useful. Um, uh, functions especially after audit so if you do have time please drop by at my facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies please help to like my page and you can find latest information regarding gst and also sql accounting system over here so at the same time if you want to refer back to previous sql tutorial video you can just go to my website is syntax.com.my click on youtube and here you go this is all the tutorial video and that's all for today i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you